So often we can get caught up in this feeling that once this thing or that thing happens, that we will be able to do something better or that things will be easier. For some challenges, we feel like they will go away once we receive a sought-after blessing. Sometimes we think that once we get in a more stable financial situation, it'll be easier to be generous, or that when we finally get a promotion at work or a new schedule, that we can dedicate ourselves to gospel living. There are so many options and ways that we can rationalize to ourselves that we will do a certain thing at a later time when it'll be easier. It's crazy. I've experienced firsthand how thinking that challenges will go away once a certain goal is accomplished. There's always another part to it that we often don't see coming. I'm not saying we shouldn't have goals and hopes for ourselves or that we shouldn't plan ahead for once things happen for us. But from a Christian standpoint, if we are to live the life of a faithful believer after something, we had best be living the life of a faithful believer before that sought-after answered prayer. Mark 10 gives us an example of how we are to seek the righteous desires of our heart as well as what to do once we receive that blessing. Blind Bartimaeus was sat alongside the path the Savior was walking and cried out so loudly and with such intensity that even the disciples were telling him to be quiet. But this man knew and had faith that Christ was the one who could help him. Christ then invited this man to come closer. In verses 51 and 52 of Mark 10 we read that, Jesus answered and said unto him, What wilt thou that I should do unto thee? The blind man said unto him, Lord, that I might receive my sight. And Jesus said unto him, Go thy way, thy faith hath made thee whole. And immediately he received his sight and followed Jesus in the way. Bartimaeus exhibited great faith in the Savior, and it was after this showing of faith and belief that the Savior provided the miracle he sought. Would he have received it had he stayed silent? What if he had stayed home and only hoped to receive his sight? Most likely not. So like him, we need to pray for the blessing we seek. And we need to act to show God that we mean what we say. We've probably all prayed something like, If you give me what I want, I'll do better. I'll be better. How many of us make the choice to do better and be better even without the blessing? How many of us hold to our commitment after receiving a blessing? So what do we learn from this story? The ending states that Jesus told him, Go thy way. Yet, after being healed, the man followed Jesus in the way. This man hadn't been able to see. Yet, even with all of what he could have left to see, all the sights he had been missing out on, he followed the Savior. The Savior has invited us to follow him. Having faith in him and striving to follow him in the way is what we should all be striving for. Whether we are seeking a blessing or have already received it, we should look to the Savior. We should follow Him and do those righteous things He would have us do, no matter what, no matter how hard or how easy things seem to be. It is my prayer that we may all seek the righteous desires of our hearts with faith in the Savior and remember Him as we are blessed according to the will of our Father in heaven. And I leave these words with you in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen.